Welcome back to Quality Content QC. Today we delve deeper into a tragedy that has stirred the world. In the vast icy wilderness of the North Atlantic, time seems to have stopped. The world baited in suspense. The fate of Ocean Gate's Titan vessel, a masterpiece of engineering, capable of diving 4,000 meters into the ocean's depths, dangles precariously. Cocooned in the enigma of the deep, the Titan, a 22-foot-long submersible, with a pressure hull design and state-of-the-art sonar technology has mysteriously disappeared. Over 19,000 square kilometers of ocean has been painstakingly scoured to no avail, and with each ticking second hope ebbs away. The Titan, not just a symbol of human ingenuity and exploration but also a testament to technological advancement, embarked on a daring expedition to investigate the remains of the Titanic wreckage. The Titanic, the infamous unsinkable ship, whose sinking more than a century ago, marked one of the most devastating maritime disasters in history, still reposes on the ocean floor, holding secrets and tales untold. The Titan carried within its steel belly five brave souls, a renowned Titanic expert renowned for his in-depth knowledge and exhaustive research, a fearless adventurer known for his daredevil exploits, scions of a wealthy Pakistani dynasty whose lineage traces back to the Mughal era, and the CEO of OceanGate himself, a man passionate about ocean exploration. Their journey, initially intended to expose the secrets veiled beneath the waves and bring light to the Titanic's historic significance, has instead spiraled into a chilling narrative of uncertainty and danger. Experts across the globe come together, their theories as vast and deep as the ocean the Titan dared to explore. Could the submersible have been ensnared in the twisted wreckage of the Titanic, its destiny doomed by the merciless abyss? Perhaps as marine biologist Dr. Hannah Porter suggests, it was a catastrophic encounter with an uncharted sea creature, causing the Titan's hull to crumple under the ocean's relentless pressure. David Pogue, a seasoned Titan voyager, paints a bleak picture of the submersible's communication systems, which ominously fell silent shortly after submerging. This silence leaves us with haunting questions. Could the vessel have been plunged into darkness? its crew thrust into a world of desolation by a total power outage. This theory is supported by renowned engineer Dr. Robert Chang, who speculates that an electrical failure could have resulted in a crippling loss of control. Yet another chilling theory put forward by safety expert Susan Mitchell suggests a sudden wave of water might have rushed into its chambers, instantly dooming those trapped inside. A potential fire and inferno in the abyss remains a terrifying possibility. In these ruthless depths, even the minutest malfunction can culminate in disaster. Meanwhile, the rescue operations unfold on the surface, straining against the mighty and fog-shrouded horizons. Captain Matthew Douglas, leading the operation, shares the immense challenges they face. With visibility near zero and dangerous currents, getting to the Titan is a battle in itself. Furthermore, the rescue team must also contend with freezing temperatures and treacherous underwater terrain making the chances of a miraculous recovery increasingly slim. As the world watches in distress, the theories multiply. Yet, amidst the speculation and the desperate rescue attempts, the grim reality remains. The Titan is lost, somewhere in the vast, unyielding darkness of the ocean's depths. In the midst of pervasive uncertainty and despair, narratives of gallantry and tenacity surface. Among these is the story of retired U.S. Navy submarine captain David Marquet, who stands as a beacon of hope in the heart of this tempest. His journey, fraught with trials and tribulations from his early days in the Naval Academy to commanding a submarine deep beneath the surface, shaped him into the embodiment of steadfastness and fearlessness. His words, echoing through the submarine, serve as a testament to the indomitable spirit that continues to fuel the Titan's crew. Marquette, with years of experience in crisis leadership, employs his wisdom to guide this beleaguered crew. Through his steady hand and strategic acumen, he instills in them a resolve that remains unyielding, even against the ticking clock as their oxygen supply dwindles and time slips away. Under his guidance, the crew adopts an exceptional survival strategy, an amalgamation of quick thinking, efficient rationing, and constant reassurances to keep at bay. They are relentless in their pursuit of survival, clawing back every second, every breath. Their resilience, forged in the crucible of adversity, becomes their greatest weapon in this battle against time and fate. It is their collective spirit, bound by Marquette's leadership, that defies the odds, illuminating the darkness with sparks of hope and courage. 
Yet beneath the facade of bravery lurks a more devastating narrative. Whistleblowers, those unsung heroes who dared to challenge the status quo, had long sounded the alarm. They voiced concerns over the Titan's safety and reliability, pointing out the glaring discrepancies and lack of adequate safety measures. These brave individuals noted the absence of redundancies in the vessel's systems, the under-equipped emergency response provisions, and the inadequacies in the vessel's hull designed to withstand deep-sea pressures. Industry standards for submersible vessels, set by maritime authorities worldwide, were blatantly overlooked. These rules, designed to ensure the safety of all aboard, demand certain specifications for design, structural integrity, and safety equipment. The Titan and its rush towards discovery fell short of these standards, demonstrating a disregard for the value of human life. Yet these cautionary voices, these cries for safety and respect for industry norms were suppressed in the relentless pursuit of discovery, their concerns dismissed as mere dissent. As the world watches with bated breath the destiny of the Titan and its valiant crew teeters on the brink, will they emerge victorious from the depths, defying the odds? Or will they become a tragic chapter in the annals of maritime history, lost to the abyss forever? As the ocean's icy grip tightens around them, their fate remains uncertain. Only time will reveal the destiny of those brave souls who dared to venture into its enigmatic depths. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. The enigma of what exactly transpired with the Ocean Gate submersible vessel has now piqued global interest. For those unaware, Ocean Gate's mission was not of scientific or commercial exploration, but rather, exploratory tourism. They aim to construct submersible vessels for regular leisure voyages, not just to known locations but also to unexplored depths. This budding sector of adventure tourism was meant to bring the mysteries of the ocean floor closer to risk-loving tourists, thus creating a unique business model that was a first in the industry. This ambition, however, took a dark turn when their vessel, their vessel, the Titan, met with a catastrophic failure, resulting in the tragic loss of five adventurers on board. The failure of the Titan wasn't a sudden event but appeared to stem from significant flaws in the engineering design. As explained by Will Conan, the chair of the Marine Technology Society's Submarine Committee, a vital component to consider during the of these vessels are fail-safe practices. These practices essentially involve designing the vehicle in such a manner that in the event of a specific failure, the structure reacts in a way that inflicts minimal or no damage to other equipment, people, or the environment. A thorough failure mode and effects analysis to scrutinize failure scenarios and recommend safety designs and procedures is an essential component of this approach. However, in Ocean Gate's case, the company has been criticized for overlooking the principles of understanding material behavior and validating the fail-safe margin of the vessel system before launching the Titan on its expeditions. The engineering design flaw seems to have extended to the choice of building materials. The company opted to use carbon fiber composites, specifically a five inches thick wall structure, which presented unique challenges. Being a new and atypical material, carbon fiber requires special consideration and testing for possible failure scenarios, as its behavior under immense pressure is not as well understood as traditional materials. Without destructive testing, which admittedly would have been an expensive and time-consuming endeavor, vital information about carbon fiber's response to failure was overlooked. Consequently, necessary design iterations, a typical process when using new or novel materials, were skipped leading to a false sense of security in the vessel's construction. It's a heartbreaking reality that OceanGate paid the most unfortunate price for these oversights. And now it is up to forensic experts to learn from this doomed endeavor to prevent such tragedies in the future.